Hi, my name is Boris and in today's video we're going to take a look at quite an overlooked feature of Ableton Live, the drum synth devices. And first of all, let's just listen to a few clips and hear what this is capable of. These are just a few quick and basic patterns, but as you could hear, the drum synths are very reminiscent of the 808 drum machine, and they actually go beyond that and allow you to create your own very custom sounds. Before we get started, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see in this tutorial, make sure to subscribe. We are making all kinds of Ableton tutorials like this one. And if you're a beginner and you'd like to learn Ableton, make sure to check out our Ableton beginners course, which gives you all the necessary knowledge you need to get started with producing and finishing your first tracks. All right, so let's get started. So as you can see, we have the drum synth loaded up into a drum rack. All of these different slots are different drum synth devices. I'm actually going to add a MIDI track and I just added my DS rack. This is just a custom device and I just basically put all of the drum synth devices from the instrument section inside a single drum rack so we can take a look at all of these devices. Before we take a look at what was going on in these clips, I am going to just demonstrate quickly what each of the drum synths is capable of and then we'll see how it can be used. Okay, so so let's start with the kick. A very simple sound right now, by default. This just emulates the standard 808 kick drum with a few really, really nice enhancements. So first of all, let's just increase the decay. And it sounds almost as an 808 kick drum. Now we could increase the drive here, for example. And this is the standard way of doing some overdrive, but there is this control over here which allows us to add harmonics. And these harmonics are really, really cool. They allow you to change the timbre of this kick drum and the harmonics are really quite important if you want your kick drum to sound full. Yeah, this works really nicely in conjunction with the drive. And this way we can take this 808 style kick drum and make it sound a bit more like the 909 kick drum. We have a few more handy options. First of all, we have the attack. We can just increase the attack here, but that's not going to be very useful. There's a click. Which can be useful if you want this kick to really cut through a mix. Yeah, we have the pitch envelope. So it's just adding that transient or the very sharp attack. And yeah, we just have a volume knob over here, nothing fancy. Let's just move on to the snare. As you can hear, the snare really reacts nicely to velocity. Yeah, we have still some very nice parameters here. First of all, the decay, very basic. From incredibly snappy to very long. And the tune changes the attack, which is a sine wave. Then we have obviously volume and here color. So this changes the kind of noise that we are using. And then some tone control. Then we have some filtering. This is low pass, high pass and band pass. They just allow us to change the overall timbre of the snare by cutting some of the frequencies here. So that's basically the snare. It's really, really useful, but it sounds fairly synthetic. So it won't really mimic a real or acoustic snare drum. The clap, as you can hear, is very 808-909 style with a few very handy and interesting sounding enhancements. So first of all, the tune. very basic and then there's the decay so you'll get some reverb after it you can decrease the stereo spread or increase it there's the tone knob this affects a filter curve here and just changes the timbre slightly and the decay just makes it shorter there's also the tail which functions a bit more like a decay And there's the sloppy function as well, which basically adds a bit of delay between each of the clap hits. 
It's as if you were playing this in slow-mo. This can work really nicely for some effects. Okay, so let's move on to the hi-hat. And the hi-hats sound very 808 style, very synthetic. Uh, this will not mimic an acoustic hi-hat like the 909 drum machine. Basically, first of all, here's the pitch control and the decay. We have two noise options, but the white noise will be used most of the time. The pink noise is quite weak. The tone knob changes the timbre, and then we have attack. And basically a volume control. So let's take a look at the symbol now. So very similar to the hi-hat. A simple pitch control. Much longer the case available and different tones. So a bit of filtering on the noise and that's pretty much it. And now let's take a look at the tom and I really really like the tom. And first of all here's the pitch control. We have some bend which basically applies a envelope to assigned to the pitch. We have basic decay. The color is really nice, the color adds that lo-fi texture here, and the tone as well. I'm pretty sure noise is introduced here as a uh, textural element. And that's it, the, the toms sound really cool, you can pitch them around and just have lots of fun here. Let's take a look at the FM device. Now, I don't use this one very often, but this was supposed to be an imitation of the DX7 sort of sounds, so an FM synthesizer. This is what we get by default. Nothing really pleasant, but we can tweak it up. We can add some tone. The tone and feedback change the timbre. This is FN synthesis, so this won't be very obvious. We can get some unexpected results here, and that's pretty much it. This sounds like a cowbell, of course. We can increase the decay. This can also be a bit of a noise perk. We can, first of all, decrease all of these tone sources and add some noise. So yeah, we can mix that up. Or maybe even use the clav. Right, and the last device here is a sampler. Maybe we can drop a sample here. Okay, so I just dropped the standard uh, 909 open hat. And we have some very, very nice simplistic options here. Normally on an old drum machine, you wouldn't have all these crazy parameters that are available inside Simpler and Sampler. And you probably would just have something like this. So uh, we have simple start and length options. And then we have a decay. Then we have a shaper, which basically distorts our sound. Reminds me a bit of the old Akai drum machines or samplers from the 90s. Then there's also, of course, some tuning. And there's also a loop function, but it won't be too useful in this case. Also, of course, a volume control. Now let's delete this track and let's take a look at the different examples that we have going on here. Because there is a lot you can do with just these devices. And with these patterns, I haven't even started utilizing the maximum power of all of these. This is just a quick demonstration. So first of all, let's take a look at pattern one. As for the kick, we have quite a soft one. The snare also quite sharp and snappy. The clap as well. And the hats are also quite snappy. And that is pretty much it, just these four sounds. Now pattern number two is just slightly more complex. Now the kick is, has some of that nice drive added here with the overtones. It's also not too long. We have the snare, which is fairly short, and the clap with a bit of the tail added. Hi-hat is also quite snappy, but we are adding the tom. 
pretty standard sound playing the G note here as you can see and just uh, adding a bit of that color and tone right let's go to pattern number three two big changes here is that the hi-hat is using pink noise and the symbol is in use here and I'm using it all the way down here with the tone and this basically creates that sizzle effect fairly strong kick snappy snares and claps and that's pretty much it now let's take a look at pattern 4 now we have a short kick standard snare a very short and snappy clap but a long hi-hat and we have a tom very short and snappy and these are the four patterns as i said this is just the beginning and you can really really explore quite a lot if you like these 808 style drums okay i hope you found this tutorial useful if you would like to explore ableton more we are running a music production academy with start to finish courses on making tracks in various genres as well as an ableton beginners course in which you can learn all the necessary basics of production make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell if you enjoyed this video leave us a like and write us a comment and i will see you next tutorials hi this video is sponsored by us if you like these tutorials and want to support the channel check out our website packed with online courses and professional sound packs if you want to cut years of your learning curve check the pml beginner to advanced music production program for ableton life you will know ableton inside out and learn how to write produce mix and master complete tracks you learn step by step at your own speed from an empty file to professional production, as if we're sitting side by side in the studio. Thank you for listening.